In this week's video, we're going to tackle a topic that's been buzzing around the internet lately, the seven-day high-protein diet, and whether it's a sustainable way to shed those extra pounds. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on our weekly content packed with valuable insights. You might have seen tons of headlines claiming that a seven-day high-protein diet is the miracle solution for effortless weight loss. Well, let's break it down. Yes, high-protein diets can indeed help with weight loss, but there's a lot more to it than just a week of intense protein intake. Weight loss is fundamentally about one thing, consuming fewer calories than you burn while increasing fat burned through physical activity. Whether you're on a high-protein diet or a standard one, if they are equally calorie restricted, you'll achieve the same weight loss. Protein itself doesn't magically melt away the pounds, but it does offer some key advantages. Protein is your friend when it comes to weight loss. It keeps you feeling full longer, curbs cravings, and helps you maintain lean muscle mass. However, here's the catch. A seven-day intense meal plan can't give you these long-term benefits because it's simply not sustainable. Now let's talk about the downsides of such extreme diets. First, they're incredibly restrictive and challenging to stick to. Once you return to your regular eating habits, the weight you've lost often comes right back. Moreover, these diets can lead to nutrient deficiencies such as iron, calcium, and folate, which can result in health issues like anemia, osteoporosis, and birth defects. Additionally, Excessive protein intake can put a strain on your kidneys, potentially causing kidney damage and digestive and bone problems in the long run. People with active lifestyles can handle more protein, but moderation is still key. Feeling tired and sluggish? That's because protein takes longer to digest, making it difficult to maintain the energy needed for effective workouts, which are essential for weight loss. Plus, too much protein can lead to digestive problems like constipation, diarrhea, and gas. Dehydration is another concern. High-protein diets can lead to fluid loss, resulting in fatigue, dizziness, and headaches. So, if you're serious about losing weight, it's crucial to focus on healthy, sustainable changes to your diet and lifestyle. Consult your doctor or a registered dietitian for personalized advice on reducing your calorie intake to a safe level. Remember, diet control is only one part of the equation. Exercise is equally important in maintaining weight loss. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate activity per week, like brisk walking. Higher activity levels are even better for weight maintenance. In conclusion, getting healthy and losing weight is not about quick fixes or extreme diets. It's about making realistic, long-term changes to your lifestyle. Only through a balanced diet, regular exercise, and a focus on both muscle strengthening and aerobic activities can you truly achieve sustainable weight loss and reduce your risk of health problems like diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease. That's all for today, folks. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment below with your thoughts and questions. And as always, Stay tuned for more informative content right here on Fix Education. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.